Okay, now in this recording we'll see about HTML element. Uh, I already touched a little bit of it, as you can see here, uh, body, um, H1, P, uh, and then also H2, H3, H6, H5, all these are called elements, but there are many. And then let me explain to you one by one, and then you'll be clear about it. So as to uh, make this one uh, um, more more um, uh, visible for you guys, let me create a new uh, HTML page. So as to create, for example, uh, I can create about element. That's the name of the the the, the web the web page, and then I have to type that HTML. See, make sure to make the extension HTML. Now in here I have to type HTML. Good down here. And then underneath, you have to have head, beautiful, under head, you have to type title. Now, the title is about elements. Now, over here, I can say H1, list, list of elements, list of elements. Now, let me save, and then let me go back to my folder. As you can see here, I have another website, a uh, web page in here. When I double click here, I can see my website and web page right there. Now let me make that this side. See lists of elements. Now let me open my uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. Let me minimize this guy. As you can see here, this is uh, uh, the site that is showing up. This is where I'm writing. Now, the first thing that we saw, the first element that we saw is paragraph. This is a paragraph. So whenever you see P, that means it is a paragraph. When I refresh, this is a paragraph. You can copy anything from here. For example, from Microsoft Word. Let me copy this one. Just to make it clear for you guys. Okay? I already mentioned to you earlier about paragraph. Let me replace this paragraph with the text that I copied. Paste in here. Now when I refresh, that's it. You see, you can see the, this is this is a, the, the head and this is a paragraph. Now let me just come here. As you can see here, P is an element. The next one that we can see is, for example, if I wanted to make this portion of text, that means from here to here, from to to look, I wanted to make it bold, I can use an element called B. So B is nothing but, let me just come here, sorry, I can make B in here, and then make sure to move the closing tag after the document. See how beautiful it is? Then this one will be bold. Let me show you now. Let me refresh, as you can see, it's not bold. Now when I refresh, you see, this is bold. So B is an, an element. Now, if I wanted to make the look as in italics, what does it mean by italics? Okay, let me, let me just open Microsoft Word document that you can see. For example, this one, bold means making a little bit bold, am I right? This is called bold. Now, if I wanted to make italics, that means it, is, it, 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 will, it will be just moving a little bit down, okay? That is called italics. So if you want, I, might, I wanted to make Italicize, what I can do is I can use I. I is for italics. Now, if I wanted to make the look professional, let me just come here. Up to here, if I wanted to make italics, I have to use I in here, opening tag, and then the closing tag here. I is an element, okay? Now, let me come here. When you, when you see here, now let me refresh. Look at here. This one is a little bit, you see? Slice, slightly inclined, so that is called italics or italicize. italicize. Okay, now let me let me make this one down a little bit. If I wanted to make this one underline, I can make U. U is for underline. For example, produced uh, this one. Now let me save it. Let me refresh. You see, this one is underline now. You see, produced is underline. So U is for underline. B is for bold. I is for italics. Now the R is another one. For example. If you remember, let me just make it H1 for example here, okay? Our price is $99.99. Let me just make it like this, and then you'll see. Now let me save this guy. Let me refresh. See, it says our price is $99.99. Sometimes you see that people cross over this one and then make it 89. For example, if the price goes down, they wanted to make just a cross in here, and then display 89.99. Okay, so as to do that, what you should do is you have to make this 99 and 99 cents with S element, under S element. You see, S is there, this is element, strike through. And then now let me, let me first save and let me refresh. You see, this one is strike through. 
Now, if you want, oh sorry, let me make this one closed. Okay, here we go. Now it'll be good. See, the price is crossed now. Now, in here, what I can do is, oh, you know what? Instead of this, I can make, oh, you know what? The price goes down to 89.99. Look at here now. When I refresh this, you see this one is crossed. That is because of this S element that is a strike through. And then this one is not crossed. So, with, so far, what we see is, we see the paragraph. We see bold. You see it in, in the underline. And then we saw the strike through. Good. Now there are there are many many other. For example, in in mathematics, if you know, if if you are in, in in high school or in any uh, other other um, level of education, you might see that. Okay, let me see if my pen is working. Yes, you might see that x to the power of two. How can I move this number two on top of x? There is an a, a HTML element is called um, sub and super sup. Sup means superscript. What if I wanted to make x in base 2? This one. This one is called subs subscript. So you can use sub for this one and sup for this one. Let me show you how you can do that. This is really straightforward, okay? Now right there, for example, if I, wa if I wanted to have h1 in here, and then I can make x. Let me go back to my, let me first save. Okay, now x, sorry. Let me just bring here x2. Okay, let me save it and let me bring my website right there. Look, it says x2. I want to move this one on top of x. So as to do that, b4, 2, I can use sup superscript. And then make sure to put number 2 in between sup. Look at here. Now when I refresh, you see 2 is there. Now whatever you write in here in between sup, it will be on top of uh, x. Now plus, look at here, 32y. If I do this, Look at here. See, I can write like this. This is a simple mathematical equation that we can write. Now, the question is, what if I wanted to make x in base 2? So as to do that, look at here. I can do h2 now. x, instead of sub, I can say sub. Okay? And then I can do 2. Look, x is there, and then base 2. Look at here. See, this one is 2 is coming down. So if you wanted to do down here, you have to use sub. And then if you want to make up, all the way up, you can use soup. Good. There are many other uh, HTML elements. We'll, we'll come and then see because when we learn more about the uh, different elements like table, lists, there are many elements that we can see. And then stay with me and then we'll learn more about this.